In chapter 83, caveats and private chats, Erland puts pressure on Niels Bogus about his mutated sister. I believe your pawn in some larger game. I don't even know if you knew this creature was your sister. In terms of what I can offer you, I'm good at two things. Getting information from people that they don't want to be out and killing. And I think both of those might be useful for you. And what I need from you is help with my affliction. Niels admits that Annika worked for the Gentle Void, but wasn't rising up in the ranks due to a physical ailment. A couple of months ago, an opportunity arose. The Gentle Void was looking for volunteers for some program. A harvesting Yard program. They did not hide the fact that it was potentially dangerous, but they were paying very well. And they implied that there was potential for the participants to great, gain tremendous physical strength. That program transformed Annika into the beast our friends slayed. When I found out about her transformation, I thought I could offer to buy her back. Finally, I got a hold of Mr. McKenna at the ports in Mont Ranina. He said I could have her back for a hefty sum, but that it was my responsibility to keep her under control. There was no controlling this beast. Niels has one last piece of information for Erland, a document from the camp regarding Annika's transformation. I'm going to hold it up, and you may look at it, and I want nothing tying any of this back to me. Grabs the note, <laughs> brings it up to the edge of the desk, and then holds it up. And he drops it into the basin. Oh. Niels burns the parchment and Erland races back to the inn, while Orba begins her interview with Safira. Uh, is there anything now that we're alone that I can help with regarding this Void 2 business? See, the little I do know about it is that the, the, the group in the Gentle Void that is most likely pursuing experiments with Mycanid extract. Erland interrupts and spews out the details he gleaned from the paper. Um, do you remember the Dietrich Light Whistle intake form at the harvesting yard? Yes. All right. He showed me Annika's form, <gasps> his sister's form. They did some sort of training to see how much it was they remembered when they saw things. And the problem was, Annika still had too much retention. She, she remembered too much. They don't oh, that's really to... sad. So, she was offered as a mutant to Void 2. The other side of the page where it was talking about what was implemented and the sort of tests they were running on her mentioned something about TDSI, and I can't remember what it was. I don't know if Void 2 is an army of simply these Mycanid mutants or some sort of close-knit group running the Mycanid mutants, but anyways, the Stitches is another name you can look for. Graven and Bizarra arrive at the inn, and Orba continues interviewing her new guardians one at a time. The first thing I want to ask you is, so Graven mentioned that there is new developments about the questions about me and how they're from an assassin? Yes. Yeah. Until... Business with him has concluded. I'm going to hold on to those two chess pieces from Cliff until that happens. If you could tell me uh, information regarding the Cold Light Walker, like for instance, what is it? <laughs> and what does it do? Grief beacons, yes. Excuse me? Grief beacons is something that they're known, of, uh, known as by locos because they emit what can be a blinding light out of their visages. Bizarre needs help with chess pieces before we leave. And you're going to help her. She's not going to let you help her. And you're going to have to convince her. I believe it when you say you will murder any one of our comrades for me. I believe you. Yes. I need to know that you can work with them. Have I demonstrated anything otherwise? Yes. I'm a Reaper Erland. So the idea is we protect you until you're able to sever connections? Yes. I don't have that skill quite yet. And the others know about this? Uh, varying degrees of knowledge, I would say. Yes. Our friends rest and head their separate ways once more. So, what is everybody's plan? Yeah. Gotta lend out my armor. I have to drop my weapons off and go speak with Martin Bishop. I'm going to see me, Tess. Oh, right. right. I did have to get my tattoo done. I was supposed to meet with uh, Sondero. Oh and that is where we're going to end for tonight. Oh as you, get to meet Birch. <laughs> you get to meet Birch. You get to meet Birch. <laughs> what will Erland learn from the kidnapped Marvin Bishop? Will Bazara forfeit the assassin's five chess pieces? Has Villapont Willoughby seen every insane and messed up thing that Graven's done since yesterday? Find out next time on Table Top Notch.